Hi guys and welcome back to Planet Zoo. My name is Heister and I hope you guys are keeping very well. So in today's episode we are doing a bit of refurbishments to Chuesto Park. Now if you remember the last video I put out which was I wasn't too sure about releasing it or not because it was something that I don't normally do but I wanted to kind of show that my park had a major problem but not make it really boring so I try to make it funny but I think the more you watch it the less funny it is but we'll forget about that and we'll focus on this. So Literally, I had a gate that was in the Binchong's habitat and it was causing my memory to spike to about 60 gigabytes, like maxing it out completely. And every time I would delete an item or place it, it would completely freeze for about 20 seconds. The memory would drop and then it would spike back up again. And I tried to delete it and it was unable to fix the problem whatsoever. So I had to literally restart the park. So the plan was to literally build it how it was but maybe just tweak it a little bit I wanted to change the vibe of it because I wasn't too sure on the direction I was going in originally I felt like I was going down this sort of straight path and it was just habitats on either side and it, it I just didn't like it and I'm really kind of um I get really finicky about things like that and it's like if I'm not happy with it when I'm in the park building it then I have to change it and th that's what I've done here so I built a brand new custom entrance this time got rid of the original one so we've got this kind of really simple idea but what I used was this picture which you can see up in the top corner right now and that was to sort of use as a base idea of what I wanted to design I couldn't completely design that because the actual building itself is really complicated and although it looks easy when I actually looked at more of the rendered pictures it was very very difficult so I had to kind of use it as a base idea now after I built that I went through and I wanted to expand the walkway where the two major buildings were at the beginning because they used to co go into those buildings come back out and be like stuck in the middle and it was really cram like really ramo in there and people couldn't move about so I made that a lot larger where people could walk through now I wanted to rearrange where the parks would be placed as well so I kind of scattered them out and put them at different angles so we still have the Bintrong on the left hand side as you come into the park you have the monkeys on the right hand side I'm not saying their full name but they're on the right hand side and uh, but I, I also changed that a little bit as well I modified the barrier on that as well so you'll see it as we go along but what I want to do I'm just going to show you a bit of the speed build which I built for the entrance and for the rest of the park we're going to go for the little tour at the end just to show you what's kind of changed and if you remember from the few episodes before you'll be able to see the differences and also I'm going to give you some sort of a, a night tour as well because I've done a lot of lighting effects in there as well and I really like the night vibe as well it gives it's it's kind of because you've got the tropical trees and the a bit more sand going on around the area I think it really makes it look nice so yes guys I'll leave it there and I'll still catch you very very shortly hope you enjoy it and I'll see you soon
so yes we're going on the little tour now i'm going to just show you around what's changed um so yes i really like this entrance i like the light especially at night time which i will do at the end this entrance here was from the image that i copied and uh it's nothing like it i know that again it was just sort of to use it as a base to see if I could create something very similar. You've got a little bit of water down here. I put a fence up just so the kids don't want to climb over, but no, and then they want to walk around the sides and jump in. And along here as well, you can see a little bridge going over a lake, just coming across here. And as we come down now into the park, instead of being this really tight area where you had a lot of people crammed, like just like over here, but they was all here as you came into the park. Uh, I made this area a lot larger so you can just kind of come into the shops and come in and out. But if you look very closely, guests are walking through my wall. There is no path there, but yet they can walk through. Um, so yeah, that's pretty uh, unique. So over here as well, it's just where I made the big change on this building is that the staff can use this. They're dancing, very nice. So through here is where the staff is. Hello. And they've got an extra area here. So I was hiding the staff area originally, but this time I want to actually put it in the building, make it part of the actual whole entire park instead of just hiding it away. Some areas down there as we can see. And this gives you a nice entrance as well, straight into the monkey habitat, which they're along here. Now, if you look here as well, I changed the uh, sort of barrier along here. It was like another concrete strip. So I, I removed that and left it like that because when I removed it, I saw that I was like, doesn't look too bad actually so I, I kept it like that and the guests can see over and the children can see over as well now because they can see over they're not using this area as much but they are using it but just um very very minimal but that's okay i mean as long as they can be able to see the animals which they can that's what matters so as we come out of here we have the bing Trongs opposite as you can see already it's kind of a lot more open a lot more spacious and, and uh it kind of gives like a little bit more of a fresh vibe and again dancing they love dancing don't they so um yeah it's a bit more open here nice and nice and clean looking and i made this sign at first it started to look like the hsbc logo and in the end it came out looking a little bit like a weird sign but i just thought i'd give it a little bit more of a style but nothing over the top nothing too detailed anything very simple and clean and this this habitat came along okay i had to adjust there's absolutely loads of them by the way now there's like 15 of them wow I haven't even paying attention. So yeah, I had to add this little beam along here because they were climbing the wood and they were escaping through the plaster wall. So I, I wasn't sure how, but that stopped them from doing that. Also I added some lights on the front of this window, which I'll show you very soon when we go on a night tour. But to stop placing items going along a single path, um, we come down in this sort of area again, there's more water, more of a tropical feeling. You've got a nice little river there. And uh, again, at night, that looks really nice. And the clouded leopards is over here. When I copied the area, the writing I had on the clouded leopards has disappeared, so that's gone. But I did some plant pots and I will put down the writing again. And the clouded leopards are in there, no problem so far. It was quite easy to put this one down. Building this path up as well seemed to go pretty easy. It was quite, uh, quite nice to do. So this didn't take too long to put back down, as you can see. There's about one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we've got, so we've got six in there and they're looking super duper happy. Now over here, we have uh, like a bit of damage going on there. This was just because this is where I'm gonna be expanding, but the park officially isn't opened up there yet. So we have like a little no entry sign, but um, yeah, nothing nothing special, but just, just to inform the guests not to go there. And this is the sun bear habitat now this was the one that i thought was the major problem in my last park but it wasn't now when i copied the blueprint to save it to obviously implement into this park some things are missing we had an area here and there but it didn't add into it and there was like a screen here as well which i will be adding but overall this is kind of the layout so far we are going to be expanding off down here we're going to be adjusting some more terrain and maybe going maybe either to the left or to the right i'll see i'll see we can maybe go both ways actually so We'll go with that but um yeah that's kind of how it looks now so it's a little bit more space a little bit more um not complicated but a little bit more style to it, i think again it's, it's keeping it kind of modern but nothing um too ott in terms of style so we're going a little night tour now i think it looks quite nice there's quite a lot of light effects all the all the paths have lights um the railing sorry and uh, you have these really nice bright lights on the screens here, which I really like. Gives you like a sort of neon nightclub feeling. 
Over here, you've got some blue lights as well, sort of onto the guests where the main shops are. Nice little blue light onto the fountain. You've got some backlighting for the sign for the monkeys. You've also got a bit of lighting here as well. I was tempted to add some lighting into the habitat, but I think obviously animals, for obviously natural sunlight and be able to cycle through day and night as well. So along here as well, you've got the path of the staff, you've got the trees, little area here. And uh, yeah, I just really like the vibe it comes off. And uh, yeah, it's, um, yeah, I'm quite happy with it this time. It's, uh, I think the park I was building before, I just wasn't over the moon with, and I feel this one just gives off a little bit more of a, more of a, a zooey feeling and a, a nice morning area. But um, but yeah, I'm gonna leave it there, guys. So that, that's it. That's the new updated park for Chuesto Park. It's it may feel like a new park, but it is still Chuesto Park. It is still gonna maintain that modern feeling, and uh, that's quite a nice shot. And uh, yeah, we're gonna just go from there now. So we've got a few more animals to add in from the Southeast Asia pack, which I'll be doing very soon. And I'll be hopefully dropping that video next week. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you like it. Let me know down below if you kind of uh, like the new style that I've gone in. If you don't as well, let me know. And uh, hopefully, yeah, I'll see you very soon. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you later. Bye-bye.